and Jean-Serge Gagnon here today and today we're going to talk about TikTok and how to use it to grow your business hour I'm also going to be doing an experiment on TikTok using this video as part of my episode or as part of my post I'm going to do today on TikTok or maybe tomorrow but I'm going to use this to prove or to see if a suggestion is correct or not and we're going to talk about how you can use TikTok for your business to grow your audience to grow your YouTube followers grow your Instagram followers and to just use the TikTok because it's it's still in it's still new so we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets so if you haven't heard of TikTok you must be living under a rock it's one of the most fun platforms it comes from Musical.ly it's been around for a couple for I think three years now I mean but Musical.ly has been around longer than that there's a the whole history of on TikTok is is that it's it's it was um, owned by a bite a company in the in China and they 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 released it they have another another version in China I forget the name but it's really really different and of course it's got similarities but you can do things on TikTok that you can't do on other platforms and one of the things that helped them grow a lot is the fact that you can share your videos from TikTok on pretty much everywhere because you can save them to your phone and upload them as videos Be, they allow that because they will put their the TikTok uh, handle on the video so that way they everybody who sees it if they're anyways they're uh, if they notice they see that it is a TikTok video so because the name is of the person's on there and it says TikTok so let me just show you here the screen here let me share my screen whoa what's going on here I'm gonna actually clear all of my let's just uh, say this show desktop here all right so I'm just gonna go back to here I don't need this let's do that all right so let's share the screen again there it is let's share my screen all right so that's no that's not TikTok <laughs> so let's go back and TikTok is this little icon that you see right over here right this icon here that we see right there you will uh, tap that icon it'll okay, take so you to so it'll take you to let's turn the volume down on this it'll take you to TikTok uh for your following page now I'm not going to cover all that I have a course that actually talk about all that how to set up an account how to create a TikTok uh, a video how to do all this maybe we'll do a few things to show you things but I want to show you um just the platform a little bit and show you a little bit about uh what I've been doing on the platform now I'm at 749 followers as you can see uh I wonder if I could make this a little bit bigger let's see oh actually I yeah I suppose I can I can just do this so I'm at 749 followers right and this is the videos I, I have right now there's not the not I uh, I'm not getting millions of views or anything like that that's not the point of this video anyways I'm not really here to show you that I get millions of views I'm just showing you that what you can do what how do you use the platform to grow your followers on other platforms right on on Instagram and on YouTube and possibly even other places so for me as you can see right here right I actually have my um I actually have my website well that's one of the websites I have that's actually the website where you can get a course on TikTok um, on TikTok the basics of TikTok that's why we call it TikTok ABC I did it with an influence that's got 1.7 million followers actually I should probably put my little webcam here as well right over here let's put the webcam right there so you can see let's just make this a little bit bigger there we go so uh there we go so I actually like I said I made a video a course I got a course on tiktokabc.com right over here you can go to tiktok abc so that's one way first of all you can have your um a website on your phone to show 
to to tell people to go right so in your videos that you do every day if you post videos every day you do videos well obviously you wanted to be doing videos every day and you want to be showing people what you're about you want to be using hashtags you want to be making sure that you're consistently posting content that's around your your platform your you know what your goals are um then you want to make sure that you're uh also you know like any other platform you got to go be engaging got to be liking things got to be following people you got to be commenting on their things you have to be doing all this right so I'm not saying that getting on TikTok is going to be um going to help you necessarily to to find more time because now you got another platform but you can reduce time on other platforms that kind of stuff but the thing is that what if you get to a point where you understand the platform enough that you can actually produce a piece of content that's actually going to show get to a point where it's viral thousands of views hundreds of thousands of views millions of views if you're going to get there which you know I'm actually doing this experiment right now to see how that works by taking this video that I'm creating this episode I'm creating for my blog for my for my uh podcast for my youtube channel for my facebook for my instagram for my linkedin I'm actually taking this and I'm going to split it up in little pieces to show to see if it's true that you post a lot of videos in one day on your snap on your tiktok account if it's actually going to change your um, number of views so we're going to see that and maybe you can come back to my to my episode to see in the next few days see what happened with this experiment right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this particular video that you're watching right now this episode that you're listening to I'm actually going to take the video cut it out and put different parts uh, on my timeline as part one part two part three part four part five I'm going to try to do this for the whole thing which usually is about 20 or 30 minutes so we'll see how long I can uh, go but at the same time I want to explain to you how to use TikTok for your business so like I said the first thing is you want to have you want to have whoops let's go to here uh, whoops right here where oh I'm not on the right <laughs> there so the first thing you want to have is you want to have a, a website on your uh, description either a website or an email address right so make sure that anybody who goes to your 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 TikTok page that doesn't necessarily know uh doesn't necessarily have Instagram or YouTube they can at least go to a website and go check out what you're about so right now I'm actually going to change that and add my blog let's just go here I click on the edit profile right and then I'm going to go and change my bio right here I'm going to I've got 61 characters so programmer blogger I'm going to put blogger Jean Serge hopefully I have enough characters if not I'm gonna have to cut stuff out gmail.com oh wow that's f that fills it up programmer TikTok oh I lost the com here blogger well let's take the programmer out I guess it doesn't really matter that much so we're just gonna put that like this so now I'm gonna have two websites on there that people can go to and they can just I'm actually going to change that put some uppercase characters makes it easier for people to find or to see what I'm writing because that is actually the same thing as my uh handle right my actual user id right but it's all together with dot com right so now I save that if I go back now you see the two names on there right you see the, the my my website of course you can't click it or anything but at least it's there and in your videos you can say hey go check the the uh, my blog link it's in my profile you can go and go to that blog and go look at other videos I did other episodes I did that talk about online marketing attraction marketing and learning how to make it generate income online with courses and growing your fans and growing your Facebook audience and growing your LinkedIn connections and all that is on my blog go ahead and go check that out and you're watching right now I'm actually telling you to go do that so go go to my blog go to my blog and go subscribe to my list make sure you get on my email list to, so you don't miss out on the episodes make sure you go bookmark my website so that you can go check it once in a while and then on there you also find a contact me page where you can follow me on every single platform that you feel like following me on because I post everywhere that's my little spiel on the website so that's one thing you want to put that in your 
in your profile definitely definitely want to make sure that's in there so now the next thing is you have to make sure that your Instagram and your YouTube links are in your profile again if we go to edit profile actually let's scroll down a bit here we go to edit profile you're going to see right here in there at the bottom right let's uh, scroll up a little bit hold on right down there right you're going to see there's an Instagram and a YouTube uh link here so I if if you don't have it yet obviously it won't show but you just go in here and then in my case whoops let's move that right down in my case it's telling me that I already have it do you want to remove it so I'm going to say it well obviously I'm just going to say cancel right now but normally if you don't have it it'll just ask you to put it in so you would just put it in but make sure you have your Instagram account and your YouTube channel both in there because if you don't have them in there then it's it's it, you you can tell people go to my YouTube channel but then you have to tell them what it is every time and whatever right whereas in this case if you put it right in to your profile it'll be available to anybody who's actually on here they'll be able to tap the little thing it it's always looks like an it always looks like a an, an Instagram uh, logo it doesn't I don't think it ever shows YouTube even if you don't have your Instagram but you tap that and then it pops up the two uh the two options here let's just scroll that up so it pops up the two options so either Instagram or YouTube so either of those the person will be able to click it to go to your YouTube channel or go to your uh, Instagram channel so right now go ahead on my account go tap that and go click on the Instagram and go follow me I'm going to follow you back I follow everybody back and go to my YouTube channel and subscribe to my channel and like a few videos I'm going to follow you back as well or subscribe to your channel back on YouTube as well so obviously you have to have a YouTube account to be able to uh, subscribe to me you have to have a YouTube channel for me to subscribe to you you have to have an Instagram account to follow me and uh, so I can follow you back so but you know that's how it works you just go and cut now the other thing that you have to remember is that once you have that set up now by the way make sure please 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 make sure that you have a profile picture that matches the other accounts like if I go and I show you here if I go to my my Instagram account you're going to see I have the same the same picture right the same profile picture on my Instagram oh, whoops we don't see it right here you see I have the same profile picture on my Instagram account I got 3,700 followers I'm still not at the 10k so I'm growing that so please go ahead and follow me that'd be awesome um and you can see I post different things on here uh I post regularly on Instagram as well you see a different videos I guess it's just not loading just yet not sure but there's a lot more than that anyways oh maybe it's well, anyway okay so that's the that's the YouTube that's interesting all right uh let's go back okay so I'm gonna go back here to my insta to my I uh, uh okay go back to my TikTok okay so then on TikTok same thing with the if you tap here and you go to YouTube it takes me, you to my YouTube channel again it's the same thing I have the same the same you can see right here I have the same profile picture so make sure you put the same profile picture everywhere so that people when they go to your profile they know it's you and they know that that that's your uh, profile right all right so let's go back so now we're back on to TikTok. all right so now the next thing that you have to remember is creating content creating content that's based on what you're trying to achieve on TikTok, right uh, so as you can see I post different little things and the other thing you'll notice is that you're going to have different amounts of views based on lots of different things like for example see this one here with the beard oh, let's uh, the one with the beard here right has 202 202 views it's not a ton of views I only have 750 followers right but <clears throat> uh, uh, but you know some of them have only like this flower one only has eight views even and I'm not sure if it's because I didn't uh let's see yeah I still have some of the regular um my same same hashtags right uh but it's a topic that's different it's a topic about getting lilacs with my daughter which 
I guess my audience doesn't care for or maybe TikTok doesn't share it as much so it doesn't get seen so the people that have seen it are probably people that went to my profile you can actually go to the video <coughs> excuse me and then if you hit those three little dots down the bottom there you're going to see uh the you're going to see the where is it yeah so you're going to see analytics right here right you can see the whoops let's uh, scroll this oops let's move that up here so you're going to see analytics right over here right so analytics if you tap on that it gives you the analytics for the specific video showing you how people uh, you know reacted to your video so it shows me right now that the traffic source everybody that saw this video were followers right and they're from the United States so there's only there's only like 10 views what was it does it say how many views yeah eight views right there it shows eight views right let's show a scroll down uh, eight views see total views eight right 13 seconds average watch so that means they watch uh, more than the, the the three second view and it also shows that uh out of the six people <laughs> I guess there must be two in the United States there must be two in the United States so one two three four five six yeah so there'd be one in Canada one in the Philippines one in Ireland one in India that's kind of interesting but anyways that's a, that's a video that only has like one like eight views but if I show you one that's got lots like uh say say this one over here whoops not this one uh, say one of the Russell Brunson books 217 views right here right this one here okay the Russell Brunson book if I look at this one and I go to the analytics you can see on this one that I had average watch of 10 seconds total views 217 and the for you page personal profile the followers so that means that 91 percent of the views were were viewed because people saw it in their for you page by the way in TikTok the for you page is the page that that uh that shows videos that TikTok thinks you might be interested in and it's not necessarily people you're following but it could be uh, normally it's not and then there's the followers uh the follow right here is people that are going through the follow the follow feed if you will videos that are of um videos that are of you being of 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 the ones you're already following right versus the ones you're not um and then the personal profile means that people that went to your profile to actually go and click the video like I just did right now on my profile I'm clicking these videos right so that's what that is and then it shows the territories so uh traffic sources territories so it shows right now that I'm getting 83 percent of my views from Canada 10 percent the U.S etc right and <clears throat> is there anything else on here no that's it right that's all you get to see you also see of course how many likes and how many comments that kind of stuff so if you have people that actually watch more of your uh, video and comment so this is the other thing right you gotta if you want more views you need to be creating content for your audience the ones that are following you and you need to create content that's going to be engaging so people are going to want to comment on it so you're going to ask a question or, or say things or do things like that which you know I'm not doing a lot of and right now in this particular episode that I'm actually going to split up into pieces hopefully I'm going to be getting engagement so I'd love to know where you're from have you heard of TikTok how long well obviously you're on TikTok right now you're watching this on TikTok uh if you're watching the the pieces that are on TikTok and I'd love to hear from you where you're from if you've uh, been following me before or you know if uh, if I'm new if you just found me in the for you page please go ahead and comment that you found on the for you page if you found me there I'd love to see your comments and any comments I always like and reply and usually I go go to follow you back if you follow me well I follow back everybody that follows me but I'm saying that just through the comments I might actually go and click and go look so make sure you comment let me know where you're from and whether uh I, where you saw my video and yeah anything else if you have any questions of course go ahead and ask so that's the so that's that's the about the, the videos now okay so now the next part is how do you get you know how do I get 750 followers right how did I get those followers so there's a few lots of them that I got from just posting content people following me uh like for example I do have a well it's further down quite a ways down 
I have a video that's got 2,000 views and this is yeah so what are the tricks I guess we could call them tricks right or, or tactics to grow your followers to get more people to to watch your stuff so right now one of the things I do is whenever I create a post you can see the more recent ones anyways uh, you can see that I have a little bit of what the video is about in my profile right so right now that's the thing so whenever you're seeing something in your um in your whenever somebody see, so there's so here's a few things to keep in mind right so when somebody sees your video on your profile right now we're looking at my profile so you see these videos these have what they're called the screenshots or the the the, the thumbnail of the video which is a, a one or two second part of the video that you choose along the video when you're posting right so if I do another a video right now let's do a video right now so when you do a video you want to you want to look at the so I'm going to just let's get that out of the way over here you can see the whole thing so, oops this one there we go and then I can actually make this a little bit smaller to fit the screen all right so that's going to be it's not the whole video let's see if I can okay so that's the video so when you're recording a video you're going to see oh actually we don't see it you can see down the bottom there's a big red a big red spot down the bottom here and un right underneath you can choose 60 seconds right 15 seconds I don't know what templates is that's new oh interesting oh that's what that is okay it's when you choose pictures and stuff anyways you press the plus down the bottom and then you choose 60 or 15 seconds I'm going to do a 15 second one right now the other thing you can do too is you can add sounds and record sounds uh use pre-recorded sounds or you can use music but we can do that afterwards if you do the music before um <coughs> then you don't have any sound it's just that music that's in there but if you do the music after you can have volume of your your voice and the music separate but anyway so right now and there's two ways to record two different ways that you can record where's my why, why am I not seeing oh there you go so there's two different ways that you can record number one is by just tapping the button and it'll start to record if I do this it's just recording right now if I press uh, press it again it stops it at the very top you can see let's just scroll down here at the very top you can see there's a little blue mark that shows uh, how much of the how much of the video you've done right so down here when I do the record again I can actually press the button keep my finger on it it'll record as well that allows me to zoom in by mo moving up and down when I let go it stops recording again you can see up top here there's there's the three there's a little bit of video that I did there and let's just say let's just keep let's just finish this so go check out my blog go check out my YouTube channel and my Instagram right in my profile to find out more about what this video is <clears throat> so now we have a video it's recorded it's done I have it here and you can see it's playing with the zoom in and what so what is this well, now I can add some text down the bottom of the video you can see that there's sounds effects and text if I go to effects for example I can do things like gold powder and I can do things like uh, yeah there's effects and there's transition so horizon transition right uh, a visual is different things like neon and like you know there's a whole bunch of different things right water effect there's uh, butterflies flying around there's old tv there's uh, anyways there's a whole bunch of them right as you can see then there's transition then there's split split lets you put multiple and it lets you choose different things time is a uh, slow and reverse that kind of stuff and under effects there's something like triple screen and anyways that's it so those are those are effects I'm going to save that it'll give me a video that's got these weird things on it right then I can put text on here this is a test video oh, actually I'm gonna what am I going to write on this what should what should I write on this particular thing go ahead and comment what you think I should be putting on there if you're watching this as a part of the whole parts of the video if you're watching a YouTube video if you're watching a Facebook go ahead and comment I'd love to hear from you depending on where you're watching this just find where you can comment and let me know and I'm going to reply and I'm going to let you know that I saw it all right so 
but I'm going to pick something right now because I'm in I'm live I'm doing it right now I'm recording the video right so let's just put something on here let's put um let's put test uh how to use TikTok for your business right so that's that's going to be that I'm just going to put that here I'm going to put that right here so the thing is that the if you put it too high right if you put it too high up here uh you've got a certain area on the that will show up in your um thumbnail so this is what I so this is a this is just I'm just going to do this and the other thing you can tap it and then you can say set duration and I can choose to have it just show up in the very beginning of the video right which is one second and that's fine <clears throat> and actually and then you click on next at the very bottom you see the next and that's where you put some text so this is this part part of full episode go watch rest in profile <clears throat> all right <clears throat> so I'm going to add hashtags I'm going to just my normal hashtags um entrepreneur and let's just say what else do I have in here do I have personal brand in there nope personal brand there we go and then under select cover this is where you would choose which part of the video you want to be as the cover for your video so I'm going to just leave it at the very beginning because that's where I put the text I'm going to leave it like that I say save and then I just say post and that's it so now it's posting on my channel oh look at that and <clears throat> um and then after that it'll show up as one of the new videos right here instead of number 202 the one that's got 202 views will have the new video on here so that's uh that's how you do a video and you post it on Inst on TikTok and this is this is really I think there's some issues with my internet over here this is not very good is it that's really too bad I don't know if there's an issue is there a way to fix it yeah that's not good maybe I can close this oh it's back so there must be an internet uh, connection thing here oh maybe because I was uploading the video that's why it, it used up some of the bandwidth okay so now the video is there it shows zero views obviously because it's still new uh hopefully this will clear up in a second that's really not that's no good that's no good so anyways that's one of the things uh you have to have proper internet obviously to do these things and but you know that's now okay so here's a here's something I want to cover as well I want to show you it's one of the things that you want to do is when you're going through your news feed right when you're going through these you're going to oh, this is all just okay there's a so when you're going through these uh let's up top let's go up top here let's go up top there's a following and a for you so you tap the for you that's based on your followers uh or your the kinds of things you've been following before or sometimes it's just whatever's the most popular you can tap the heart and little plus underneath to start following people and that's what I'm doing right here just liking and following right I, I'm, obviously you don't necessarily want to do that just like that you want to maybe pick and choose the stuff you actually like and the other thing you can do too is when you tap the little plus <clears throat> you can either tap their profile to go to their profile and see their videos right or you can just right swipe you swipe this way uh, and then that gives you to their profile then you can go and like some of their other videos to show them love you know and that kind of tells the platform as well that you might like this particular content better than other stuff right so this is an this is an ad no it's not okay anyways um so I'm just so that's one of the ways to go through and that's one of the ways to get followers right you got to go the other thing is if you go to um let's say uh, let me see if I go to say I'm searching for Russell Brunson one of my 
you know dream 100 right he's one of my dream 100 I go to his profile I go to his followers and now I can follow all his followers I can just follow these people obviously there's a limit to how fast you should be doing this you need to you can't do too many uh TikTok eventually is going to give you a message saying you're going too fast slow down I don't know how much it is maybe it's 20 maybe it's 50 maybe it depends on your account and then you can also go to their profiles right and like their videos to kind of show them love right I'm just going to go and we'll see what they got I'm just going to like a few of them so that's another that's a the thing is that yes the like for like and the follow for follow and all these things aren't always the ideal but if you do it on accounts that are following your dream 100 like I follow Russell but I you know I'm in all about attraction marketing personal branding creating courses and all that so I follow people like Russell Brunson Tony Robbins Eric Worre Ray Higdon Diane Hockman all these people they have followers as well those followers are interested potentially in what they have right so that's why if you go through this and you like the people that especially the ones like see like this one here she's only got 18 followers right so she's new so chances are she's going to follow me back right especially if I like her stuff as well right if I go through here this guy only has three followers that's chances are they'll follow me back but you know the thing is that obviously you don't know for sure that these people are really interested in what you got they might just follow you to follow you right but at the same time the growth of your followers and when you get the, the on TikTok when you get to the 1000 that's when you're going to get people to uh you're going to be able to do um lives and also TikTok starts to to promote promote you more because they consider you you know a they consider you a, a an influencer because you've reached that right obviously the I'm, I'm liking see I like all of your soul stuff already uh and he's obviously not being super active on TikTok yet but he does post so, some stuff and you know I kind of used I kind of make sure I follow that same thing if I were to look for Eric Worre or for Tony Robbins or some of the other uh, people that I really want to follow and uh so yeah so that's basically how you grow your audience on TikTok you gotta put your link you gotta put your <clears throat> here let's make this bigger again so you gotta make sure that you put your you gotta make sure you put your link on your TikTok you gotta put your website your blog or your email on your TikTok uh, profile the next thing is you gotta make sure that in your Instagram account you have your Instagram account so that when people click that button they can actually go to your Instagram and your YouTube that's the second thing and the third thing is when you post videos ask people go to my profile go check out my blog go check out the course I have go check out my Instagram go check out my YouTube ask people they 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 will go and check if you don't ask them they're not going to go I'm not saying everybody asks is going to go like you're watching this you might not go but maybe you will so but if I didn't ask there wouldn't there would be less chance of you you know going and that's basically how you grow your business using TikTok of course you got to create content there's 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 all sorts of different things you can do but that's basically how that is so let me just go to the webcam here and yeah so that's basically how you grow your TikTok hopefully you enjoyed this and if you did go ahead and share and I'd love to hear from you comment below where you're from especially if you watch this whole thing and or if you're watching this on TikTok if you're watching this anywhere else go ahead and comment on the video let me know that you've watched it and if you're watching this I'm not sure which number this is because now we're at 34 minutes wow that's probably one of the longest ones I did and hopefully this will be a great content for TikTok to see how the multiple videos in a day the pieces of the same thing going part one part two that kind of thing how that's going to work out for my TikTok followers all right enjoy we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom Ooh. some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time